Dyson Sphere Program, a game recommended to be my one of my subscribers, and a game that I thought when I heard the title was all about building a vacuum empire and potentially robotic vacuums that people would want to put in their homes and buy. However, under close inspection, it was not. On hearing the title of this game, I did genuinely think it was about a vacuum cleaning company, and you kind of made like little robot vacuums or something, and it went to take over the world in a good way, in that kind of thing. Turns out, I was very wrong. But Dyson Sphere Program is more like satisfactory, but from a different perspective. You're not in that first person mode where you're on the ground, but there is a lot of resource management, there is a lot of automation going on and there is a lot of building and construction and kind of managing where you build things and how you build things so that you can get a good flow of autonomous resource management and construction. Now these styles of games I do enjoy however I'm not the greatest at but I do enjoy them. I enjoy the aspect of building stuff and getting it into a situation that you feel is working only to unlock something else along a tech tree and realize that that little system that you built up where all your resources and stuff were feeding each other nicely and producing exactly what you wanted to produce well, now you need to kind of make a massive break in that and try and find another way to squeeze in different resources in order to get the best productivity and resource management that you can out of the system that you have built. They do get annoying, they do get confusing, and I think in a weird way, that's what I kind of like about it. It's always evolving, it's always changing. The more you unlock, the more you grow, and the more you develop. Don't get me wrong, I am very, very new to this game. Like, really new to this game, but I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying what I'm trying to find out. I'm enjoying what I'm understanding. And honestly, for an early access game right now, this game feels really good. There is a lot to it. It looks really pretty. It acts really pretty. Stuff behaves for the most part how you'd want it to. And there is a lot that you can do with it. It takes into account resource management, automation, space travel, as well as being able to transfer when you get high enough across into the tech tree, you have an ability to use interplanetary automation systems. It's all here in the early access game. Quite honestly, for the price that I paid, I messed up, I didn't get it when it was in the Steam sale, but it's really, really good. I imagine it's gonna be very samey, but it feels like it's one of those games where you keep learning the more you go over it, the more you play it. For example, you realize, okay, so I need this raw resource to make these products, and then you unlock further down the tech tree, you realize that you'll actually unlock more products that you can build from that resource. So you kind of have that in mind next time you build and it makes your systems become more efficient the more you go through it. It means that when you do start building down the line, you won't be building these strange conveyor systems that you have to chop and change. You go with that in mind and you're able to build with that in mind for a future edition. I've really enjoyed this game so far. It's got a fantastic day night cycle. It feels really, really well put together for a game that's still in early access. I don't know the depth of the content just yet i'm still playing for it we're still getting onto it still enjoying it but i do want to bring you guys some videos on this thing just so we can kick around you guys can shout at me because i'm getting something wrong or not doing it right we can play through we can just enjoy it together genuinely the couple of hours that i've put into it over the weekend that i've had this i've really thoroughly enjoyed it and i've never got to the ends of my reach just yet i'm working out that i'm really really bad at building some sort of systems where it's efficient so there's always that to look forward to to develop and to build on but honestly this game is it's a really nice game honestly i can't get over how well it looks i feel that it looks really crisp its graphics are amazing like i say when you go off into space you can do space flight you can go around the planets it all works really well personally i've not found any real major bugs or anything yet haven't played it hard and I haven't crashed it to fully understand that and find them. But what I have played, genuinely really enjoyed it. It has been a really welcome break from Scrap Mechanic that I've overplayed to the point now where we're just waiting for new content to come through and just give us a little bit of extra. But this is gonna fill a little gap and I've put a lot of hours into it so far. This is just my two cents on this and what I've played so far anyway, guys. But I appreciate you watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Take it easy and I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Bye guys.